Hi, I'm very excited about today's video because this is one of the most important skill I have ever learned. I have taught to people and people in the industry have told me that without this skill, it is very difficult to become a SDE1 to an SDE2. You cannot become an expert software developer. You will just remain a beginner software developer. Now, what is that skill? It is not a communication skill. It is something different. And this is what we are going to discuss in this video. Now, you must have asked this question, why there are so many software developers who are an expert and there are so many software developers who are not even beginner or if they are beginner, they are just beginners. What makes them the expert? You must have seen, you must dream that you want to work in the meta company, you want to work with uh, sorry Microsoft, you want to work with Google and these major big companies. But what is the difference? how a software engineer becomes an expert rather than just becoming a software engineer. Now, I just want to mention one thing. This skill is not specifically just one single skill. There are multiple skills, but this is by far the most important skill. If you possess this, companies have the confidence. So you must be wondering, well, what is that skill? Well, to answer your question, the skill, the name of that particular skill is GIT. Yes, GIT. You must have heard about GitHub. You must have heard about uh, Bitbucket. These are the various SaaS based softwares, if I talk about the applications which run on the concept of Git. What is Git if I talk about? So Git is basically a software which helps us manage our version control. What do I mean by that? Like, let's say you're going to write a code today to make sure that the user can log in into our application. If that particular code has a bug, you can actually go back and you can understand what were the changes you made in that particular code so that you can actually revert those changes. Now, without this tool, it is very difficult to actually manage this kind of a stuff. And that is why it is one of the most important skill altogether. Now, why we should be learning this new technology if I talk about, first of all, this is not a language, it is a concept, it is not even a technology. Well, what it enables you actually, it shows to the potential recruiter that you have the collaboration kind of a skill set. When we are going to ask you to work with 15 different people, or I should say team of 20 different people, you can actually work in collaboration. If I talk about you can actually become a more productive software developer because you understand what are the problems you're making and what are the possible solutions. This is a process based actually approach or I should say the Git. If I talk about it's all about the process orientation. How do I tackle a specific solution? And finally, it helps you control your source code. Now, it sounds very vague right now. And if you are a beginner right now and you have never heard about Git, obviously it is very difficult for you to understand and see what kind of a different advantages it gives us. Now, in this particular image, you can see that there are red lines as well as green lines. What does red line signify? What does green line signify? Now, if you have to manage this code, if I'll compare it with the normal piece of code, you can see on the left hand side, you can see the coloring on the right hand side, you cannot see almost anything. With the left hand side, you can obviously understand that the red line signifies that you have removed this piece of line from the code. The green line means that you have added a new line of code. The line which do not have any color, the lines which are white signify that you have made no changes in this following lines. So now you can see how easy it is for you to understand what is happening. Now, just imagine if this was not available, you were working with a team who are like 15 engineers, 20 engineers, 25 engineers, or even a small startup. It will be very difficult for you to collaborate. And this is how it makes, or I should say, it gives us the advantage. Ultimately, it gives us the advantage of making sure that we are on the right path and we are following all the required conventions, if I may, or the right set of skill set, or I should say, right set of processes, so that the software which is going to be get developed is on the right track. Now, what are the features of this specific tool? Let's talk about the first feature is obviously this is a version control. That means I can see what I have done four years, for, uh, four years ago, what I have done yesterday and what I have done day before yesterday. Technically, I can walk back in the path. It is like a timeline where I can actually walk into my code and understand what changes I have made and what changes I did not make. Secondly, if I talk about it helps us, as I mentioned, collaboration. So it helps us work with the team because 
if you are a single person army obviously you do not work in a company you are the owner of the company but if you have multiple people who are working in your company in that scenario obviously you need some sort of a collaboration now i'll give you an example just imagine if you are making some changes and those changes are sent over an email using a file attachment or something like that it becomes very difficult for us to manage this kind of a thing so obviously git helps us actually work with teams now obviously the next point is if you are using a cloud based approach all the people who are working with you can actually work make changes asynchronously what do i mean by that right now i'm making a video let's say my team is working on a particular website of our skill nagar so what will happen right now they don't have to wait for me to actually update their code they can actually push their code in the cloud i don't have to ask them what kind of changes you have made i will simply see what kind of changes they have made from that particular centralized version control so you can see if i'm working in a big company i don't have to go to an individual person and ask them hey what changes you made yesterday because it is not working on my machine or something like that you can actually open this uh, particular tool like github you can open bitbucket is there azure devops is there there are so many tools uh, like if i talk about in this particular segment but you can actually open that and you can understand okay avinash has made these changes this person has made these changes so it becomes very easy for you to manage everything and finally the most important thing it helps us improve our code i'll give you a very simple scenario let's say you have written a code to uh, add two numbers now it is a very simple piece of code but if i talk about maybe 4 years from today maybe 3 years from today or maybe 15 days from today you will realize okay this code which i have written it's working fine but i want to make sure that something is working efficiently i want to make it more memory optimized i want to make it more efficient i want to make it more uh, programmer efficient whatever that is so if you are going to make changes towards that approach so you can actually circle back and you can understand okay these were the changes this is why the code was bulky this is why it was not optimized and now it is optimized because you can view every single history from git Now, obviously, if you want to learn this specific skill set, I would suggest that there are so many free resources available on the internet that you don't have to worry about it. You can actually understand and learn this skill set within next thirty to thirty-five minutes, or I should say forty-five minutes to be precise. Now, the number one website, or I should say resource, which you should refer to actually learn this tool is try. Github. Io. You can see on your screen this particular link. obviously if you want we can actually put this link in the description of this video also here you can actually learn the basics of git and you don't have to worry about it because ultimately this is one of the one tested resource if i talk about myself that i have actually told so many people to learn from it and they were all able to learn through this particular application or i should say website so this is a free resource with this particular free resource you can actually get started with the world of github or uh, sorry um, you can start it with the world of git and you can also become an expert which are actually aiming for so in conclusion if i want to say if you are actually aiming to become a software developer obviously being a beginner level of software developer is not something for you you have to become an expert an expert is someone who understands a lot of things and can manage and process a lot of things now that does not mean that you have to do everything but you have to make sure that whatever you are doing you are doing it more efficiently so your team can actually work in collaboration and they can work together so git as i mentioned this is one such tool which actually can enable you to become an expert and obviously if you are aiming to become a software dev uh, developer too or i should say sde2 you can actually quickly get started with that while learning git